Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Crazy Boy and today we are going to play with Scorpion G. This tank destroyer is one of the most popular tank destroyers in the whole game. Like everyone knows this tank and everyone I mean a lot of people love it. Let, let's not say everyone loves it because there are people that hate it because of its weak armor. It's a tier 8 tank destroyer with 500 alpha. It goes with 60 km per hour. So the mobility and the alpha of the gun are very good and the turret is fully traversable. So you can turn your turret, you can shoot 500 and you have 60 km per hour. Behi besides the armor there is nothing bad about this tank. Before we get started guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you don't miss any new future videos and let's get started. As always guys, we are going to start with our crew skills. We are going to go very fast through them because most of the time they are the same and the most important important ones are here so let's get started. Six sense so that we know when we are going to get spotted. Snapshot is when we are going to move our turret because Scorpion G does have a turret. It's a tank destroyer with a turret so that's very important. Then we have uh, Kluge Breaking that's for uh, rotating faster than normal. With Scorpion G you have a turret but the turret is not really rotating that fast you know so if a medium or a light tank is going to flank you, you, have, you will rotate your uh, turret, but you are going to rotate your tank too. So that's very important to have. Then situational awareness with recon is very important because we do want to have a lot of view range. As you can see, I have uh, 400, four, 509 view range. It's because of my binos. Uh, I'm going to get into the equipment too because that is the equipment is a bit more difficult, you know. I have a bit more things to say about it. Broader in arms, like always, an overall improvement. Dead eye, so that we can hit the ammo rack or we can go for the engine, we can set them on fire, you know the stuff. Concealment, you are in a tank destroyer, and this tank is a paper tank, so you do want to have some. Uh, some uh, concealment on it, you don't want to get spotted that easily. Then smooth ride, I don't think that's the best skill that I, I could have uh, choose for, but most of the time I'm playing a bit aggressive with Scorpion G, and I do want to shoot when I'm uh, when I'm moving, or if I'm just stopping and I want to shoot, I want the best accuracy that it can uh, have. Just put the signal boosting, it's not really helping, it's just helping that, uh, that I have a better signal range i don't really think that's uh, very important in uh, higher tier maybe in lower tiers moving to equipment guys we have as always gun rammer for 10 percent faster reloading and gun ring drive for 10 percent faster aiming and our third equipment well i'm going to tell you we are going to have three games and i'm going to split them in two parts like always but there is a catch in one of them, we are going to use Binos with rations. In one of them, we are going to use Cotodoptics with rations. And in the other one, we are going to use Cotodoptics without rations. So, Binos and, and Cotodoptics, it's more like a personal choice. Cotodoptics is for a more aggressive style. Binos, it's for more camping and not really, not really trying to push with Scorpion G. Rations, I do use them on my binos and cotodoptics to see how better does our view range get. And can we play Scorpion G with only cotodoptics without rations? We are going to see it. I don't use a fire extinguisher because I just think this is a tank to make money. As you can see, I don't really have a lot of APCR. I try my best to make money with it, so I don't really want to spend a lot of it when we are playing. Now, let's move to our first game. Getting into our first game, we are going to play on Pilsen. It's not really such a great map for Scorpion G because when you are a paper tank, you just don't want to get spotted and you just want to do damage. So yeah, the map is not really great for Scorpion G. We just have the left flank to play. We can't go in the middle and we can't go for the city. We are playing in a platoon with uh, a friend of mine. He is an RT player. He just plays RT. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you are going to say like, what? But yes, he is only playing with artists. It's his choice, you know. I can change it. I told he, I told him to try uh, to try more tanks, but still, he just likes to play arty. 
Now we are going to get on the left flank because it's on our only choice. And I'm not going to go too far on the left because if we are going to lose that flank or I don't know, they are going to push us. I don't have time to relocate. With Scorpion G, you always want to relocate. If the enemies are going uh, are going to come too close to you, you just want to go and relocate. You don't want to stay. You don't want to fight. You just want to go somewhere where you are you have cover or you are not spotted. Now, it seems like our T92 isn't willing to spot in the middle, so T44 is spotting, and uh, we can use him as a decoy. You know, like if he's going to get shot. We know that there are going to be enemies in our uh, in our front, so we can go and blind fire. So Artie did shoot him, mm. and I think we did manage to connect that one. I'm not sure, but it seems like it. You always have to to see what your spotter is doing. If your spotter is going to be shot, and as you can see, we shot for the second time on the left, and we almost got hit. So. I think someone got got hit by me on uh, on a blind shot. T44 tried his best to spot. It wasn't working for him, so he's just backing up. It's normal, you know. He's a medium after all. He's not a right tank, so there is no point for him to really push or spot. Or D92 is holding the very left flank, should I say? But he's alone, so I'm trying my best to help him if there is going to be someone. That's why I'm looking in towards this side and I'm not going to peek r right where I was because someone shot a blind after me so there, ca there can be more blinds. We managed to put one into that Progetto. T92 died, sadly he spotted the other two enemies too late. Can we put one more in one of those guys? Mm, let's, let's try for Boresk. Yeah, sadly we missed. Bad reaction time by me and we got spotted so right now we just have to run. What uh, Progetto and uh, the Order Twang Destroyer are doing wrong is that they are not relocating, you know? We are paper tanks, we, we should not be fighting with uh, with them like this, but still. It's not my tank, so uh, I have to take care of my, my own tank. And I think we can punish that Progetto one more time. I do want to save that Tank Destroyer, good. So we managed to save him. And now... With Scorpion G, you have to try two things. You either are going to go in a position when, uh, or in a position where you are not spotted, or you are going to get somewhere where you can peek, shoot, and go into cover. That's basically what you have to do with Scorpion. You don't have to take uh, trades. You don't have to use your armor. You just have to be smart when uh, when you are using uh, when you are using your gun. Besides your gun, there is nothing uh, special to Scorpion G. You can't side scrape. You can't. I mean. You just have to shoot and be and be safe. Now Burask just pushed us through the building. This light tank didn't pay atten attention to us. What is he going to do? Okay, so he shot us two times. Sadly, I can't shoot him again. I'm a bit scared by Burask because if he's going to push me and he's going to high roll, I think he can kill us with two shots, so... You are almost one shot for him. One clip, should I say. T26 at E4. Is he going to push? No way. Sadly, he doesn't have a really good minimap awareness. And when I say minimap awareness, is uh, looking on the minimap for your surroundings. Like, where are the enemies? Can they shoot me? Can I get into cover? Can I push a flank in cover? You know, like, just look at him. Just look at him. He's killing himself right now. He, he is seeing me right now, but it's too late. He lost 1k HP. And he's tracked, so he's not going to do much. M41. Sadly, this guy didn't have a, a great minimap awareness either. Because he didn't pay atten attention to me. And I don't get it. He just flanked me. And now when he picked for that guy, he just forgot about me. Like, I don't get it. Let's see. Is Borask still here? Oh, there, there he is. And what I did here is um, pushing him before he would push us because there was nobody anymore for, for from his team on this side so he was going to be alone and he was going to push. Can we put one more into him? Is he here? Oh yes. And sadly he died because he didn't knew how to use his tank properly. Every time that you are going to play with a, 
fast medium without armor you want to take advantage of that you don't want to let enemies flank you or take advantage of their position you have to be fast and think fast and burask just didn't pay attention to the to the minimap when i got to shoot that uh, light tank for the first time burask will just yellow us and almost kill us but luckily for us he wasn't that smart and we managed to finish him Scorpion G is there. Oh, pixel shot. Can we, can we kill him? Oh, we can kill him. That was a very lucky shot there. I mean, the pixel, the pixel is just unreal there. T44 is in cover. I do want to finish that Yak Tiger. I can take one shot for him. But it seems like he wasn't paying attention. And again, no minimum awareness. So I was spotted on the right side. That's true. But just after i don't know five seconds i killed scorpion on the left side so yak tiger could already know well scorpion g is on the left side because he killed our scorpion g but no he was just staying in the same place waiting for me to peek in the same corner like guys if you are going to play this game and you want to be better try to use your minimap one of the most important things that a lot of people miss is minimap a lot of people think that you have to be good you have to take good positions and no 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 minimap your minimap is oh shit he shoot at us with he your minimap is very very important guys without your minimap you are just dead your minimap can tell you if you can push in cover, your minimap can tell you if someone is pushing, your minimap can tell you how many enemies there are, or... You see, minimap is just telling you everything. It's giving you information, and with that information you can change games or you can take advantages. And sadly, I didn't manage to penetrate that T44 and he managed to finish us. Finish us. It happens, T44 was lucky, we didn't manage to pen him twice in a row. Are we going to win this game? Are we going to lose it? Well, guys, I'm going to spoil it for you. Sadly, guys, we didn't manage to win the game. We did manage to take the Ace and the High Caliber, and our Blind Fire did got in because we have 5k damage, and in the game itself we had 4.5k, so one shot was on Blind. From the more detailed stats, guys, as you can see, we managed to be, as always, top XP and top damage. Sadly, our team didn't manage to do more, it happens, you have to try your best to win the game, but if it's not possible, then it's not possible, we are a human too, so we made our mistake by picking twice for that uh, T44. We did manage to take some credits, almost 200k credits, I did have uh, personal reserves active, so we do get a lot of credits from there too. I think it was a pretty decent game, and I'm happy with it. Well guys. This is it for today, next week we are going to see a stronger game, we are going to see a crazy clutch and I really mean it, it was a crazy clutch, but until then, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any new future content and see you next time guys.